What is up there everyone, it's the guy from the Gaming Tech here and today I wanted to actually explain how I've recently had a change of heart towards Treyarch. Now I admit for a while I've actually been alluding to a Treyarch rant I was going to do later on this year. Now I was planning on actually doing that around the time when the Treyarch released information about their next game and I actually have decided in recent months that I'm not going to do that anymore for the simple reason of I've actually had a change of heart. And there's no real reason for it, it's just the fact that I've realised I might have actually been slightly unfair, considering I've only ever played and bought one Treyarch game. So maybe it was a bit unfair to judge them on only that one game. However, I do still need to explain my part of the story. Creative developers, they have come up with some very good ideas for Call of Duty. However, you can't ignore all the things that have gone wrong, and this is why I'm personally annoyed at so many people thinking they're the best developer and they are amazing, because realistically they have brought in some of the stupidest ideas ever implemented in Call of Duty. Now, the first one that needs no real explanation is the target finder. That has come back three times now. If I personally believe if they hadn't introduced it in the first place, maybe it would have never come into Call of Duty. Who knows, it could have been brought in anyway, but they started it and it's been coming back ever since and no one wants it in the game. It is a broken attachment idea from the start. And the other key thing that Treyarch did was they changed the description of the season pass halfway through to this, so that it would not include microtransactions. And that was a stupid move and it was awful for the consumers. Because the original description said get all the DLC for free early and then they changed the description so it only included the map packs and that is just awful for consumers because it means that suddenly we aren't actually getting what we've paid for. They've actually taken our money and changed what we're getting for it which actually I would personally say is shouldn't even be allowed commercially and that was an awful thing and of course they also started the trend of microtransactions which we personally as consumers don't feel that has been a great addition because we feel that they've been adding too many resources to making these microtransactions rather than focusing on developing the game. Now the main reason that I have beef with Treyarch is the simple fact of their really awful in my personal opinion community response for Black Ops 2. Now the game was flawed from launch, the netcode in it was awful and the main reason why I'm annoyed at that is the fact that they are the biggest studio of the three and yet the netcode in the game was absolutely horrible. You were getting shot around corners all the time. And it was just, for, for me it became unplayable. I stopped playing it because I just simply could not play it. And the odd times I've gone back to it, I've just felt the exact same thing. You can't tell if you're going to win a gunfight because you don't know what's going to happen. You can easily get bullets that just seek you around the corner. And it is just ultimately frustrating. And it's not what I want from Call of Duty. I want something fun. Now I admit, they did make a fun game. And the thing they specialise in is building hype around a game and making it seem like it is going to be the best game you've ever played. But when it's that unplayable, you just can't go back to it. And it's just horrible because... There was so much reward in the game if you could get your streaks because the streaks absolutely kicked ass in the game. But I just couldn't actually stand playing the game just for the small reward and enjoyment I would get from getting those streaks because of the severe inconsistency in the game. And then later on in the year, the thing that just tipped me over the edge was the comment, the lag is in your heads. It's like, are you actually kidding me? First things first, ignoring a problem, yeah that's what developers seem to do every year, but denying a problem that is blatantly obvious and in the game and has been experienced by almost everyone who plays the game and you go and deny it, that is just the biggest load of crap I've heard from any company ever. That is just the worst lie I have ever heard and it was just so ignorant of them to say this. And that was why I was personally going to make a Trout Ranch, just simply because that comment just took me over the edge. Now I'm not going to lie, zombies and the actual multiplayer itself had some fun aspects. The unplayability of multiplayer was why I ultimately left it, but zombies for me was what redeemed the game because it was a fun mode to play. Now this change of heart, what does it mean? It means that I'm less likely to completely skip Treyarch's game. Am I definitely going to buy it? No, I'm still reserved and I'm going to wait until what they actually bring out and what they show us. I'm actually personally leaning to the fact that they're probably going to do Black Ops 3 because when I really think about it, they really ha are going to be stuck for options if they did World at War 2 because they wouldn't be able to add in customization, they wouldn't be able to add in kill streaks as such. There'd be very little they could do with the game and it would annoy people. People would be like, oh, there's a lack of content and they couldn't in 
and if they added in too much it would just seem like a completely BS game and they will get slated for that so they kind of stuck and they more or less have to make a Black Ops 3 whether it, what time period it's set in is really down to them but the point with World War 2 is that you're kind of stuck with the limited technologies of the time but I just wanted to explain why I'm annoyed at Treyarch and why I have this anger well, I wouldn't say anger, maybe that's probably too strong a word, but this very strong irritation towards them, and people that seem to act like they're the greatest developer of Call of Duty, or just generally the greatest developer to grace the earth. They really aren't. Admittedly, they do do some good things, and they do build hype, which is something that I suppose the recent games have lacked. They've lacked some of the hype that Black Ops 2 had, and... It is an enjoyable thing being hyped for something, but then to be ultimately let down and then be denied by developers is just something that is just horrible on a corporate level and just on a consumer level. It's just awful. But anyway guys, I wanted to put this point across because I wanted to show you guys that actually I'm giving them one more chance. However, I'm still reserved because of the way they dealt with Black Ops 2. But anyway guys, this has been the Gardener Gamertag and I will see you on another video.